<laughs> Look who's back. Um, yes, it's us. Back once again for another Halloween spooktacular. Absolutely. It is yes. Spookaboo 2. The yes. Spookening. Uh, the Spookening or the podcastering you see. Because yes, yes. last year, you'll remember... Because everyone remembers. Yes, of course. It's a, a monumental achievement in 2020 and the greatest, The greatest audio broadcast yes. put forth last year in the month of October towards the end of it. And and no, nothing else happened to grab Ab- interest away. Absolutely no. nothing else happened. Everything was fine. Absolutely. Don't think about it too much. Yes, but we're back. Yes, we're we back. we learned some things and from our dealings money. with the Icebox Radio Theater. Yes. <laughs> we I, need money. <laughs> we should introduce ourselves. I am the Winter Warlock. And I am Sydney Thermidor. Mm-hmm. And we are a team which needs money, actually. Let's yes, not they, they, raised rent on, they raised rent on our cave. It's, uh-huh. it's truly a desperate situation. We have a, but, a housing bubble. Yes, yes, yes. We have a caving bubble, and it's about to collapse. So... so but we understand yes. from our, our dealings with the Icebox Radio Theater that podcasting is very popular right now. Yes. It's podcasting wonderful. seems to be the only thing you can make money at these days, so we've decided we're going to get in on it. Absolutely. But I have one question. Yes. Before we start a podcast, what's this thing do? Oh, that's a dead cat. I figured you'd like it. It also stops cool. you from puffing at the mic too much. I never puffed at the mic, not since the, the, no. the, the, the litigation. Oh, you puff, puff plenty. Puff, puff, puff. Anyway, I have a wonderful time, but we are we are we are here with a wonderful program. Yes, of stuff yes. and things. We have many things for you. Once again, we have a fantastic mm. movie that the Icebox Radio has so kindly commentated over for ah. our enjoyment and yours. Aha. Uh-huh. We have a lovely classic radio uh, production oh, as well. Yeah. Yes, yes, those old shows. Yes, and Everyone we have. Everyone in them is dead now. Why yes, that that's the best feel? part. Yes. I've outlived all of them, even though they were my contemporaries. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. And, of course, we have a brand new audio drama from the Icebox Radio Theater oh, as well. It's quite terrifying. I, I know, I yes. into the mic. I heard it's quite terrifying. Yes, yes. But, but one of the things that we want to impress upon you is the money aspect. Yes. Which you can go to iceboxradio.org slash live, and there's all kinds of information uh, with dollar signs attached. So please go there to help to help us, and I assume by extension, the IVRT. Yes, I? please be generous, as we have once again kidnapped them this year. Oh, is that what happened? I wondered why you, you went out Thursday. You said you went out for milk, but you didn't come back with milk. I, you came they, back with cages. They, they don't need much feeding, do they? No, well... Well, well, we'll we'll wait a few a few weeks and see how we'll, things are we'll going. S- we'll see how the pledges roll in yes. on whether the starving artists get to <laughs> drop that moniker. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 well, the yes, aforementioned yes. motion picture is Queen of Snakes. Reminds yes. me of Queen of Snakes. Reminds me of his ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, oh don't get me don't get me started on her. <laughs> so we should dive right in. Do you think and see uh, the funny in a small town crew? Yes, the funny in the small town crew yes. riffing Queen of Snakes. Let's go there now. Do you know what the uh, scientific name for snakes are? Uh, no. Okay. Crawlis umbilicus? Queen of snakes, more like <laughs> regent of reptiles, am I right? <laughs> and that's the first joke in this riff of Queen of Snakes. Welcome, everyone, to our Halloween riff. You know it's Halloween because we say spooky. Buckle up, bitches. <laughs> Sit back, pull up a nice slice of couch, and watch this lady nap. Oh, the excitement. Yeah, you tell him Atticus Finch. Or is she blind? Are we making fun of a blind person? Oh, no. Oh, okay, good. Uh, I'll just never finish this Twilight series. <laughs> Too dull. Go team, Jacob. Where's oh, my hot Frankenstein man? Okay, that is my Aunt Clarissa's second bedroom. <laughs> 
Huh, if I ring one more time, I'm making an extended gesticulation. Is it Christmas yet? <laughs> You're too slow. I agree. What if it had been an emergency? Was it an emergency? No, it was not, but it could have been. I could have been lying dead on the floor for all you been. knew. If you were dead it on the floor, been. how could you ring the bell? Oh, she got me there. <laughs> well, I would have found a way. That makes no sense. Do you need something, Mother? Clearly, I do. Or I would not have rung the bell. Of course, Mother. I need you what go. I, do for you? I need a new Afghan. Thirsty. What may I get you? I want tea. Yes, Mother. Right away, Mother. In my snake mug. With milk. Yes, Mother. Ooh, like Craig and do it the I English way. Those. Milk what? first. Of course, Mother. Doing it the English way. <laughs> that sounds dirty. It does. We're yeah. out of milk, Mother. Is milk okay? Cobwebs. Spiders. Nasty little creatures. I am hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this room. You know, we're not too fond of it either at this point. We've been watching the movie. I hate for this room. Years. I hate this window. I hate that ficus. So much running to and fro. Sometimes are you? Mostly fro. Are you really running anywhere? No gratitude. She's moved her hands Gracious. so far in the movie. That's it. Yeah. Spend a day in my shoes. Man, Just do you think once. they have an Afghan for every chair in the house? Just once. At least she, she got really carried <gasps> away making a tea doily Why on and earth just draped over the whole chair now. Like I wasn't sneaking around, Mother. No, of course not. You're not Henry. Sli- you were no, slithering mother. around. What? Henry is not sneaking around on me. <gasps> He's doing it out in the open like I like and it. from whom did you hear that? Your little gossipy friend, Mrs. Davis. From she whomst? She is not gossipy. She simply she pays not attention my friend. to the comings and goings in this town. Mostly Without her, I would never have any idea who is coming <laughs> and who is going. And in regards to that young man who constantly professes such deep love for you, he's coming. Seems to be far more of the former. <laughs> That's kind of what he means when he says that. Oh, baby, baby doll, I love you. How's your sister? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she chose that skirt so she might blend in with the cabinets. <laughs> kind of like I'm going to disappear now. Let me know if you need anything else. I'll be shellacking my bangs. <laughs> <laughs> and furthermore, I don't much care for you. I yes. win. <laughs> With that gesture, I've solidified my victory. Nice hooters. <laughs> <laughs> the owls aren't half bad either. <laughs> oh, I just wish I could see what's in that photograph. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Rotary dial. It's like a for ghost your photo pleasure. from the 1890s. <laughs> Transylvania 65000. Oh. Henry, it's Betty. Who? Who? What? Ah, you beat me to it. <laughs> swell. I'm doing swell. You're swelled? You should go to the doctor. I sure am. I was just going to call you. You were? Yes, darling. I was. I was going to see if you were free for a little rendezvous. Evening. All the better to hear Rendezvous. you with. Yeah, Ooh, that's it's French. French. It means a meetup, a get together, a date, baby. Oh, of course. I'm not. Hang out, a hookup. What are you thinking? I not like sure French things. Not sure. I'm not hip to this uh, slang, dude. I'll bring my rusty trombone. Wait, no, what I'm not gonna. Kind of <laughs> business, business, baby doll. Don't worry your pretty little head. Cocaine. All right? Just give me an hour or two of cocaine. Tops, then I'll figure out tonight. Dealing cocaine to Deal? children. Sure. Kilos, kilo after kilo. Kilo after kilo. Hip right, hookers and cooking. How say else hello, are you? Su- say hello to my Bye. little friend. Bye. How else are you supposed to deal with this new math anyway? Where else do you think I learned French? <laughs> cooking <laughs> real big with the Frenchies. <sighs> you know, le- I learned. I, I learned French. <laughs> I learned French to deal my cocaine hey, better. Someone's at the door. Die. I know, mother. Then answer it. Don't wanna. Right away, mother. Mother, I obvious. swear, one of these days I'm gonna. Uh, one of these days, bang, zoom, straight yes, to the moon. Mother. Meanwhile, in the heart. Who was it? It was the delivery man. The delivery man. The delivery. What did man. he deliver? A delivery. <laughs> Yet another Amazon package, mother. It looks very old. Let's see. 
People haven't wrapped packages in string like this since the 60s. It appears to be addressed to a doctor. It's my Abbott. collection of naked oh, Wilfred Brimley photographs. I guess it was by mistake. <laughs> give it to me, Mother. I'll see if the delivery man is still in the neighborhood. Yeah, Perhaps give me. Return it. Now wait. The address is this house. That's weird. There's Usually no it's a number address. followed by a street. Let me see. <laughs> the plot thickens. <laughs> hmm. So oh, it is. Yes. Oh. How oh. mysterious. Oh. Give it back to me. Don't wanna. Give Rear it back bedroom, to me. one, two, three, Mother, House why? Avenue. Because I said so. You can't keep it and you can't open it. Child. What kind of monster do you think I am? The horrible kind. around opening other people's mail. Clearly it was addressed wrong. I simply want to examine it closer to see if perhaps there's something there that we're not seeing. That like the contents of that package. And where it needs to go. I know exactly where it needs to there. go. Sorry, folks. Yes, I can. The delivery man. Dear Lord, that's worse than Whoa. I... I did not expect that to be quite so... Um, Bad? Yes. Oh, yes. I, I almost false get... advertising, yet I see neither queen nor snake. Yeah, we have, so we have not seen hide nor scale of either of those things, and I'm yes. I'm beginning to think there's no Queen of Snakes in this movie. Still, honestly, I'd take that bedroom. It's very pleasant in a 70s sort of way. <laughs> it's very beige. And, and, oh, God, the whole movie is <laughs> the beige. Whole, the whole movie is very beige. It's one of those uh, where I thought it was in black and white till I realized, no, that's just the look of the film. I'm, I'm glad stuff. I didn't supervise them while I had them watch that movie because... No, you're ooh. too red. Yeah, I know. You, do, you would have shocked the entire crew they, into... into they, they would have called me science. some kind of charlatan or whore. Yes. And then you would never would have met the Queen of Snakes. No, absolutely not. Well, let's see. Uh, that will be back. Don't worry. Yes, <laughs> there, worried, there, there will be more film. More of that movie. <laughs> there will be more film and more of the funny in a small town crew, of course. Absolutely. But, but uh, for now, yes. we will be starting our own podcast. Yes. A podcast. The first podcast on the right. A true crime podcast dun, so dun, unique dun, 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 that you you just dun, can't dun, even imagine dun, it. Dun, 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 dun. That's when the homicide started. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Our first case that we're going to investigate involves a, an unsolved murder from 20 years ago where a strange uh, man ago, with red yeah. face and lobster claws was spotted leaving a convenience store in Moline, Illinois. Mm, I, I, may have to, I may have to put the kibosh on this one. I don't oh. believe the... The statute of limitations and all that. I that may have been me. Well, wait. If you have insight into who might have committed this well, heinous like, crime, well, you, the, the you statute. Should... Look, you you need me as a roommate. We can't afford this cave on our own. Oh, statute yeah, of true. limitations. Let's let's move on to a different one. Uh, right. This one happened 55 years ago. I think yes, that's yes. long enough ago. Uh -huh. um, a triple homicide in the small town of Biloxi, Missouri. Ooh. The family uh, was... The, the only thing they could find were fibers from a cheap white wig and some... Oh. You said Biloxi, Missouri? Y yes. I don't think we can do this one either. Oh, crud. It's like true crime. Mm. Who knew there was a shortage of good crimes to investigate? Who knew that we were the only ones doing good crimes? Absolutely. Well, at any rate, ignore all of that that we just said, especially if you're the authorities. And where, where are let, we going next? Let, let's go ahead time? and cut that out. Yes, let's cut. Uh -huh, cut yes. Of this vibe. All uh, right. Anyway, we'll, um, we'll go back to some more Queen of Snakes while oh, we yes. figure out maybe a safer topic for our podcast. Absolutely. Uh, but remember... What's not safe is to not go to, this is a somewhat confusing, go to yeah, iceboxradio.org slash live because we need the money. We need the money. The Icebox Radio Theater needs the money. Yeah. And they would absolutely love to be set free from our crabby clutches. Absolutely. And you can go there now while we go and enjoy more Queen of Snakes. The IBRT's Threadless Store is now open. T-shirts, hoodies, even phone cases and protective face masks are now available at our very own merch outlet, iceboxradio.threadless.com. Choose from the IBRT logos, Scoop Sisters, Funny in a Small Town, Frozen Frights, and more. 
Then choose your merch. Clothing for men, women, and kids in a variety of colors. Accessories including buttons, stickers, mugs, and tote bags. Even notebooks and skateboards are available, and every sale helps the Icebox Radio Theater continue to bring the Northland's stories to the world. That's the Icebox Radio Merch Store at iceboxradio.threadless.com or just visit iceboxradio.org. Oh. Dun. Kind of a weird movie. It was pretty sure. Oh, never. Betty, the telephone. Conduct 309. Line. It's like having a play by play announcer in your house. Hello. Commissioner's Hello. office. Crawford residence. Hey, baby. My extended warranty? What do you mean? Ugh. Good lord. <laughs> no, well, man. it takes a lot of calories to live her lifestyle. Don't you want any more horseshoe crab and cold <laughs> peas? Mm, rather have some well, you see what that's missing is some gravy. Yes. Yes. A little bit of gravy Mother. goes a long way. Yes, <laughs> and a lot of gravy goes there. something further. wrong with your dinner? You barely touched it. No, it's delicious. I'm just feeling I'm a bit just beige. I'm particularly hungry right now. Shall I take it from you? No, no, it's fine. I'm still going to try. No, no, I'm going to let All it right, rot Mother. like me in this Who room. Was on the phone? It I was going to render it down to its component materials with acid and suck it up with my glycerin. And what did huh? Henry Your want? What? And proboscis. And you're going on a date tonight to see a movie. Do you got popcorn because it's back. a movie? Yeah. What? 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 Mother. Just the two of you? Of course. It wouldn't be much of a date if it weren't. Which is then exactly be a the thrubble. point I've been trying to make. <laughs> Just Mother. the three of us. Have a lovely time. I will. Me and you well, and just you and her. for that, I don't want to. Cinefo, little brown yeah, dress. Don't, don't let me stop you. It's the same color as the butcher paper your yes. meat comes wrapped in. Quite. And the rest of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Finally alone to play with my box. <laughs> Waiting to get my hands on this package ever since the man brought it. <laughs> it's a little old, but I like it that way. Yeah. A little stringy too, but you know. That was. Am I moral... really going to commit a federal crime? Yes, yes, I am. I swear it was a book. Ooh. From the Flava Flav collection. That's right. I won this at the auction at the sci-fi con. Beautiful. Signed up with a fake name. <laughs> Who exactly is she looking Where, for? Yeah, who's looking? <laughs> Did a ghost the sneak into the corner? The spiders and yeah. dusty corners. Yeah. All right. I love rubbing it in a circular motion with my fingers. Well, it Especially does go with the that, bump it, in the middle. It does go with that outfit. You gotta Whoa. Damn. Wow. Ooh. You can never get it that fast. Get the London look. Here comes the bride. <laughs> All dressed in white. Moisturize me. It's the new Gwyneth Paltrow line. <laughs> Goop for snakes. <laughs> Not sure, kind of thinking that might have been the queen of snakes. <clears throat> hey, whoa, hey, how you doing? Whoa. What movie is this? <laughs> well, they're making um, out, I see. This is Diet Dr. Pibb. God, I just love the commercials before these things start. May I ask you a question? It's a young I'm, Colonel Sanders. Will you promise not to get mad that I'm asking? Why do I feel like that dude in the far back is the main character? And we're just if I don't know what unaware. You're ask me, babe. Just promise me. Is there a hole in the bottom of that popcorn box? What's going on? <laughs> I really, I don't care. I just really want to know now. Yeah, well, after the after the, the mistake with the soda last time, uh, <laughs> I figured the popcorn was a safer bet. He, hoof. Well, that wasn't a question. Are you? Are you serious? It's just 
Babe, do I look greasy enough to cheat? <laughs> I mean, really. Don't just throw a used napkin into the popcorn? I promise. Good. Thank you. Can we next time we go to a movie that isn't special, a showing to the newsies. Newsies and kids. They said the convention was out here, right? Meanwhile, at Neverland Ranch. <laughs> Where the f am I? <laughs> Ovaltine. Need Ovaltine. Boy, I could really go for sucking a squirrel dry. I'm home amongst these dead trees. Did I leave the oven on? I remember this scene from the Brave Little Toaster. Oh! I hadn't even been taking a drink just there. So. Blanky! So far away. Tits look amazing in this dress. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm walking. It's the all slee stack production of Hamlet. That's a failure. Well, these early Lady Gaga videos are pretty weird. <laughs> I smell. <sighs> For the viewers at home, beef. her hair is now more gray. Ham. No, no, no. Mm, mystery Water. meat, dry scallop potatoes and peas. You know, this is actually very informative, as sweet potatoes are actually a good alternative for most seniors. Why is she eating the peas with her hands? Well, should we be seeing this? Oh, <laughs> I don't think anyone should be seeing this. Mother, I'm, I'm supposed to hate this meal that you yeah. prepared for me. If she knows I love her cooking, I'll never be able to get away with anything again. Oh, so bitch. <sighs> Must use superior intellect to tools. Yes, of course. The fork. Ah, uh, quit forking around. Perfect. It's a fork in a box. Flawless. Mother. I'm lost finding my way to your room again. Heavens. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> Huzzah, there is a queen. There is. <laughs> I think I'm in love. Oh, oh you, you'll oh, have yes. to fight me for her. Fist ah, alarms. Oh, Why? Fist what have for you? Her. Pistols at dawn for the fair queen of snakes. You may have me on this one. Absolutely. Oh, but you can have Betty, because Betty's back from the date, finally. Oh, right, he has the date. Ugh. Oh, yes. What's I've her? been doused in butter more times than I care to admit, and even I find that man greasy. Oh. Ooh. Absolutely. Well, that was Queen of Snakes, and we'll have yes. more of them later, because we want to see more of that hot babe more in the of, wedding dress. More of that, of course, but now to something we think you'll really enjoy. Yes. Someone's come for a nutritious breakfast. What? Oh, hello, my name is Boo. <laughs> Let me finish. Booberry, my ghostly good blueberry flavored cereal, Booberry, <laughs> is part of this complete breakfast. Boo to you, Booberry. Frankenberry's got strawberry flavored marshmallows. Count Chocula's got chocolate marshmallows. But I've got blueberry flavored marshmallows. Frankenberry. Count Chocula. <laughs> and Booberry. <laughs> Show but, off. but the McNugget Buddies need costumes too. We don't want to be chicken on Halloween. May I? You want to be frightening? Want to be scary? Want to be something wildly hairy? <laughs> but you don't want to be chicken <laughs> on Halloween. Anything you want? Anything you dare? It all depends on what you wear. Twins! <laughs> but you don't want to be chicken on Halloween. <laughs> now you tell me. <laughs> Igor, go and get me what I crave. Evening, Igor. Evening. 
If you want a better orange soda, made with more natural orange flavor than ever before, try Shasta. It's got the bright color, the sweet smell, and the great taste of oranges. Shasta, it's the orange soda that can make anybody happy. <laughs> she, ate, she ate him. Now that looks really invited. That right there. Does Ooh. it get better than that? Ladies and gentlemen, it does not. Still bugs me though. It's she's beautiful gonna... breakfast and she's sitting there reading the paper. Come on. That bacon gets cold too quickly. The That's toast a nice is pair of hydrangeas she's got there too. It is. <laughs> oh, the flowers. Okay. Shit, 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 shit. Hi, I'm with the Boy Scouts. Oh, We're selling popcorn. Good God. <laughs> Just your friendly neighborhood, Avon. Mother, who is at the... <gasps> it's the long, skinny arm of the law. Hello, Mr. <laughs> Hello Eugene. How Bully me what? in high school, will they? Well, let's see how they pay for these speeding tickets. <laughs> Kids are getting big. Happy to hear it. To what do I owe the pleasure? Thank you, Betty. Sometimes I have to hold my hat here because I get very excited. <laughs> I'm here to ask you about Henry. Henry? Around women in wheelchairs? Betty's Henry? Ew. Yes. What about it? He seems Has like he the done kind. something wrong? <sighs> He'd you have know, a type. it wouldn't surprise me. I never liked Stop him. writing no. anything. He's no. gone missing. <gasps> How awful. But why would you come to Day talk to me? One. His car is parked in front of your house. <laughs> it is? Yes, he was last seen leaving I his office to eat at the, the end car. of his work day yesterday. <laughs> no one knew where he was going, but he never came home last night. He did. He was just delivering a meal on wheels. <laughs> Doesn't he live alone? Yes, he does. However, we received a call last night from his secretary, Ethel. Ethel? We don't generally Ethel. go looking for people until 24 his hours. His last name Merman? But she called again this morning saying he never Ethel showed up for work. Trying to come up with an Ethel gas gasoline night. reference. I got nothing. From his secretary. Yes. How interesting. Not right. really. So we did no. a They're both consenting around. adults, man. That's how it works. Now we're here. And so is his car. And so was this badge. Last night, Mrs. Crawford? You know I was. Mm-hmm. Of course, Mrs. Crawford. I'm sorry. What I meant was... It's all right. Daddy. I always forget that I shot you after pulling your over daughter, your drunk daughter. daughter. Drunk he daughter. Was, yes. And you Hence why you're back. in this wheelchair. Yes. He's, making dots. Absolutely. He's making dots. He's making dots on that. And was Henry notepad. here at any point last night? I'm drawing that S. Yes, yes he was. Angled S. Betty and he got into a fight. <laughs> they were shouting at each other. I could hear them through the walls. What were they fighting about? Betty yes, suspected he had strayed. She confronted him. He got angry. He called it off and stormed out of the house. And then what? Did Betty pursue him? No. She came to my room and explained that it was over and that she never loved him. She's better off if you ask me. All she right. was just well, using do you have him. Any for idea sex? where he might have gone? <laughs> if he didn't leave in his car, perhaps he went for a walk to the Pine Barrens. <laughs> Sounds plausible. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. What is it? It was dark when he left. If he did take a walk, there's a chance he could have ended up walking through the marshlands. You're right. He could have. The Mothmen are that terrible this correct. time of year. That can be yes, he insane. absolutely could it's have. Like it's like quicksand. Quite. They took away my real gun and gave me this and cap Henry gun. Was yes. wand over and over what will he do against the sucking mud? Did she say <laughs> sucking mud? She did say sucking mud, yes. The way mud, he yes. was carrying on last night, I wouldn't be surprised if he had a few too many before arriving. Is he you drawing Binky on that drunk? Drunk? I noticed Talk that his eraser is worn down to the Between. nub. I wouldn't yeah, yeah, yeah. be surprised. I do a lot of redacting right. things. Well, thank you for your time, Mrs. Crawford. How I'm sorry to have sucking? to disrupt your morning. It's quite all right. That's okay. The Family County I know. Police Department appreciates your cooperation, Mrs. Crawford. Of course. Anytime. Of course, I work for the sheriff. <laughs> Deputy. Your yes. fly has been down the whole time. Despite my distaste for the man, I do hope you find him. Indeed. Good day, Mrs. Crawford. Indeed. Good day, Deputy. <laughs> I, I get it, because she ate she him. She done at him. She ate him. Spit out his ring. She's wearing clothes and shoes and everything, and that's the only thing she spit out. Yes, Mother? Did you need something? Have you ever met Henry's secretary? Ethel? Yes. What does she look like? Way hotter than me. (laughs) 
Billy Joe, get out of there. Gosh, she looks so good in fuchsia. I'm just furious with rage. <laughs> I think we have that chair upstairs. If I slither silently, I'll never be... Oh, crap. Don't move. Yeah. Their vision is based on movement. It's a sleigh stack. <gasps> Tell me now, or I swear I will use this. I will go all Second Amendment on your ass. If only knew how these things worked. Well, at least we know why the guy liked her. Because he gave her a pearl necklace? <laughs> no, because they're both uh, confused by flashlights. No, 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 no. I was a sh- hey, wait I, a minute. Hold I on. I was assured this was a self-defense flashlight. Why didn't it work? Aren't we friends? I think I messed this up already. Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Did I leave the Help me, on? white Christian Jesus, please. You're the only one that can stop the lizard lady. Meanwhile, in a church basement in Wisconsin. Yeah, they got a portrait of her. <laughs> <laughs> this is a confusing mythology. Well, other than the lizard queen, a very nice Weber grill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you could have a great little cookout on yeah, that there. Say. Well, you can just... The kids, the kids can go play in the marshlands and the suck and mocks. Yeah. You know, guys, this is a marsh, but that doesn't mean we can't have proper arboreal maintenance here. Look at those trees. That's some really good tree tend in there. I was going to say, you might worry for this girl, but that's Billy Joe Cohen. She's a Wisconsin girl. You bet she could run through the woods in heels. Just need directions to the gap. The gap in what? Hey, it's me again. Wouldn't it be freaky if I appeared in front of you again and again and again? How many of those are there? Every breath you take, I'll be watching you. Please, I don't know what you want. Yeah, well, neither do we, Please. really. Want to suck your blood? No, wait. Oh, my God. Am I worth it? That oh, was the, believe Joe Holmes. Yes, it was. That poor, beautiful creature cut down in her prime in the woods. It takes a Wisconsin girl like her to know how to run in those woods in, in those heels. heels. Yes, in, in heels. those heels. I, have you tried that? It's difficult. Well, I don't like to say. Come on now. <laughs> You can be honest here. It's just us and the rest of the world. We we could do a podcast about that because it was a very... Well, uh, to be honest, I was uh, a, a little frustrated on the dating scene at the time. Uh, so we're rolling back to true crime on yeah, that. Well, well no. <laughs> But they, right, right, they, right. Were, they were they were very frustrated on the dating scene, so I was trying some new things. Ah, I see, yes. Dating yes. can be difficult, which is why we're bringing you our brand new podcast, 667 Tips to Get That Man and or Woman You Want in Your Life Immediately. Absolutely. So you need to subscribe yes. now, punch that button on the YouTube, as well as visit our Patreon, which we haven't set up yet. But you'll want to go to iSpotsRadio.org. Yes. Slash live. slash live, and we'll set you up with Billy Joe Combs. No. Yes, we'll we'll put you in direct contact, possibly. Yes, she's not doing anything. She's been killed off in the movie. But what yes, what dating yes. advice do you have for a warlock who wears size eight heels? Well, dating tip number one. Yes. If your lady has a forked tongue, that's not your lady. That's the Queen of Snakes. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, my, can't she be both? Well, you know what? If you think that you are worthy of the Queen of Snakes, mm-hmm. you are not worthy of the Queen of Snakes. That's tip number two. This is easily as complicated as actual dating. I know. That's why there's 665 more of these tips to go. When you should subscribe on uh, wherever you get your podcasts, although I would strongly one, one, recommend yes. uh, typing them in by hand. Yes. 011011110. Well, Some of us can't really type well, with can, our hands anymore. You can do binary with those. That's, that's oh, zero, true. That's I, one. I, I type in Morse code these days. Yes, you look like J- George R.R.R. R. R. Martin there with the boom, 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 back and forth. But luckily, I have iceboxradio.org slash live saved in my favorites so I can simply click on them with one claw. 
Absolutely. And that is what you should do now, because we are still raising funds to get this wonderful new podcast, 667 Reasons Not to Die Lonely and Tragic. I think you may have put a personal spin on it there, but That's you know true. what? We'll roll with it because it's a great title. That's right. Tip number three. If your man looks that greasy, he is that greasy. Even I have standards. Yes. And that's the line right there. Yes, which apparently Billy Joe's character did not. Well, that's sad, Ginger. But, yes. you know, it's tough. Yes. it's tough for the ladies out there, which is why you should listen to our podcast. 600 and something, something, you've heard it before. 600, yada, yada, to blah, blah, blah. Absolutely. But what you should remember is iceboxradio.org. I did that backwards. You and all the other flip things. Flip that, reverse it. Iceboxradio.org slash live now, to give us money and free your wonderful riffers who have been riffing this movie with, that we have. Now, well, we, I locked them up to make them do it again. <laughs> Absolutely. But we have a special treat for you next. Yeah, we do. Yes, when we come back from commercial, you're going to see and listen to a brand new radio play from the Icebox Radio oh, Theater, yes. which they created in prison. Some of the best writing takes place in prison, our prison. I know, I know. It's it's like being actually terrified in real life. Absolutely. Gives you the inspiration to write terrifying literature. Absolutely. T- uh, Caleb Silvers and Tanya Milosevic star in Sweep. Oh, I heard they did a fantastic they job. Did. So you want so to stay good. tuned right after you go to iceboxradio.org slash L-I-V-E. 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 And subscribe to one of our three podcasts, please. Subscribe to all of them. Absolutely. Now. Hi there, this is Jeff Adams from the Icebox Radio Theater, coming on with a special message for those of you who maybe haven't heard of us before tonight. The IBRT is a nonprofit theater group based in International Falls, Minnesota, USA, dedicated to creating great original audio entertainment in all genres. If you go to our website, iceboxradio.org, and click on the podcast link, you'll find over 300 plays divided up into genre specific podcasts, and the listing is always free. Feel like a laugh? Check out the laugh track for the best in comedy. If you enjoy science fiction or fantasy, the podcast for you is Tales from the Rack. And looking for something a little more long form for those long car trips? May I suggest our very own sci-fi comedy series, Radio Icebox. Three complete seasons now available. And of course, for everything having to do with the spooky season, we have over 50 plays of our horror podcast, Frozen Frights. That's iceboxradio.org. Click on the podcast link to start listening for free today. And happy Halloween, everyone. Theater of Suspense and Terror, now on Icebox Radio. Could you not? Sorry? That noise. Could you please not make it? I've had a... It's been a really... No. No, I get it. It's been a traumatic day. I understand, sir. Sorry. Habit I have when I'm thinking. Thank you, officer. I just need a little bit more for my report, and then I'll get out of your hair. What do you need? Just to hear it again. Just to make sure I have it right. You're in town to visit Barbara Peterson? Sort of. Mm, Sorry? Uh, Barbara Peterson is my grandmother, but she's been in a coma for five years. 
She's just upstairs in the intensive care ward, but she can't really visit. I see what you mean. Yeah. You've been staying in her house on 3rd Street? Yes. So why are you in town? Oh, I'm the executor of her estate. She has a living will. I'm here to see to things. Ah, uh, she on life support? Yes. So you're here to... Yes, execute the living will. Right. What changed? Sorry? You said she's been in a coma for five years. Why are you doing this now? Oh. My mother passed away recently, leaving me as the sole heir. Mom and I could never agree on what to do about Grandma. You're staying in her house. Um, the house on 3rd Street. You already asked that, and yes. And was it in the alley behind the house where the accident took place? Mm, sort of. Pardon? It was in the alley, but it wasn't behind the house. It was down at the end, away from the house. There's a telephone pole. Right. How fast were you going when you hit the telephone pole? I don't know. Pretty fast, I think. Speed limit in the alley is 15. Huh. Think you were going faster than that? I really couldn't say. I was... You were what? I was distracted. Distracted by what? Ryan, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Did I drift off there? I hope not. Are, are you driving? Well, yeah. Then please don't drift off. I miss having you next to me on long car trips. <sighs> don't make me feel more guilty than I already do. You're right, you're right. I want to be there. No, I wasn't thinking. Forget I said that. The doctor said bed rest, and that's where you should be. How are you feeling? I felt a kick today. <laughs> That's great. I know. First time in two days. It was... My thoughts were getting pretty dark until I felt that. So... Do you need me to come home? No, I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> but if you're feeling like you need me there... No, I... it, it's just the hormones running hot and cold. Every little thing is setting me off. I can turn right around and be home by tonight. No. Oh. When the baby comes, you'll have even less time to do this, trust me. Best to get out of the way now. Okay. You get to town, you talk to the doctors about your grandmother, and then we deal with that. And in a couple of weeks, we welcome our son. It's the circle of life. Exactly. You decided about her house yet? No, I'll have to see it first. I could list it for the sake of listing it, but the market is so depressed in this town, I don't know it'll do any good. And besides, we really should clean it out first and do... Okay! Uh, there's... there's time, okay? You don't need to do everything at once. <sighs> Thank you. I, I hope to have a surprise for you when I get back. Oh, hope to? Well, surprise for him, anyway. <laughs> what is it? You'll just need to wait. I have had it up to here with waiting. Give! Nope. Ryan. No, you gotta wait. Besides, it's something of my grandfather's. He hid it in the house, and I'm not sure I'll be able to find it this time. He hid it? Years ago, yeah. Grandpa was big on treasure hunts. This will be cool, trust me. It better be. Hey, call me if you need me, okay? Will do. Ryan, seriously, you were right. Your mother was wrong. Your mother kept her on the machine all these years? Yes. You didn't agree? Well, it's expensive. Thing was, my mom died of cancer. Her last few years were expensive, too. If we'd executed the living will, there would have been resources for her. My mom, I mean. So while your grandmother was in a coma, your mother was dying and wouldn't do anything about it? She said she wouldn't sacrifice another life to save her own. So she just let the cancer take its course. This bothers you. She would have been a grandmother herself in another couple of weeks. Congratulations. Thank you. Boy or girl? A little boy. My wife would be here with me if she wasn't on bed rest. Her first? Yeah. Pretty standard for her first. Bed rest, I mean. Yeah. Good thing she wasn't in the car with you, huh? What? The accident. Good thing your pregnant wife wasn't in the car with you when you plowed into the telephone pole. 
Yeah. May I ask, when did your mother pass? What? Your mother. She passed away a while ago? Four months. Okay. Why the wait? What? The wait. Why did you wait to come and take care of this until now? I mean, your wife was a lot less pregnant four months ago. I suppose it just seemed too soon after mom dying. Oh. Is that all? Well, I don't like that house. What's wrong with the house? Nothing, but... Mm, go on. I have some bad memories. Something about that place always tore me up when I was little. Tore you up how? Did something happen? No. Yes. Which is it? Nothing happened. It's just... I saw something once. Playing in the basement, it's one of those old dark storage basements. No rumpus room, is what I'm saying. Purely practical. I thought I saw something. I was about eight. What did you see? I can't really remember now. I just remember that feeling, the fear, and the pee running down my leg. So it was something frightening. Do you believe in ghosts, officer? Yes. <laughs> wow, no hesitation in that answer. Should I have? Well, I don't believe in ghosts. I believe in what I can see, not what I feel. And you didn't see a ghost? I don't know what I saw. I just know that every time I'm in that house, I feel like I can see it again. Through the corner of my eye, in a shadow. I've never seen anything anyplace else. I'm not clairvoyant or sensitive. Just that house. It's like it's haunted only for me. Halloween Headlines, presented by Bartzi. Our gory top story, terrifying trends in costumes. 2007 is the year of the pirate, crowd favorite movies, and the always popular funny costumes for him and hot costumes for her. And superheroes everywhere agree, eBarts.com buries the competition's prices. And now for your werewolf weather, we've got howling highs and growling lows heading towards all locations of... Bartzi. Good night and pleasant nightmares. In Weeble's haunted house, Weeble's wobble all about, and it's a real exciting place to be. A smiling ghost with glowing face has a secret hiding place, and that's not all, there's plenty more to see. Because a Weeble's haunted house is a great place to be. Weeble's haunted house, including glow-in-the-dark Weeble Ghost from Romper Room. I don't know what I saw. I just know that every time I'm in that house, I feel like I can see it again. Through the corner of my eye, in a shadow. I've never seen anything anyplace else. I'm not clairvoyant or sensitive. Just that house. It's like it's haunted only for me. Hmm. Tell me about the house. Sorry, what? The house. What kind of condition is it in now? Well, son of a... What difference does that make? I'm just trying to get a picture of things. Figure out what happened. How much stress had to do with this. Stress? I don't believe this. <laughs> I don't have any stress. New baby on the way. Dealing with the loss of your mother, your grandmother. Sounds like there's plenty of stress. Yeah, well... I take it one day at a time. Still, you've got a good driving record. That alley is well lit. I'm trying to figure out what might have caused you to drive like you did. Are you there? Yeah, I just arrived. You said you'd call. I'm, I'm sorry, babe. But seriously, I just, I opened the door. Sorry, I just, you said you'd call. Uh-huh. What's wrong? Oh, it's just, I'm in the house. And? Well, we've been paying for someone to come in and clean. Mom sent a check every month, and this place looks horrible. Oh, no. Dust everywhere. I'm in the kitchen. It smells weird. Oh, God. What is it? There's garbage in the garbage can. The kitchen garbage. Oof. It doesn't look new. Ugh. Exactly. 
I don't even know if I have that woman's phone number. But who was she? Just a friend of my grandmother's. So, total loss? <sighs> I don't know yet. I'm probably just overreacting. It's just dirty, is all. Nothing was covered up, so all of her things are under a layer of dust. I wish I was there. Uh, no, I really don't think you do. Why not? You hate cleaning. <laughs> True, but that's not why I want to be there. You okay? Just tired of being pregnant and feeling needy all the time. Hey, you know... I can't even go on a simple trip without my stupid hormones screaming you'll never come back. Mia, I love everything about you, including your stupid hormones. But they should really shut up now. I know, right? Hey, I completely forgot. I got a surprise for you. You said the treasure your grandfather hid? Not that. Do you have your laptop handy? Uh, yeah. It's on the nightstand. Why? Go, go on, open it up. Okay. Is it open? See the icon on the desktop that says Kid Finder. Yeah, yeah. What is this? Well, it's just a little present I got for you. I installed it before I left. Double click it. Okay. What's it doing? It's loading up a... looks like a map. Right. Oh, hey! It's the town where you are! Hmm. Right. Now zoom in as far as you can. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh my god. What? I can see the outline of the house, and the little map pin is sort of toward the back. Right, because I'm toward the back. Okay, now, watch this. Mm -hmm. Oh my! Did you just walk out the back door? Yep. <laughs> the pin is you? My phone, yeah. You can see where I am in real time. Ah, oh, but Ryan, I can't find her. Okay, hey, <laughs> the ones designed to spy on your teenagers had the best reviews. Ryan, just... What? W w what's wrong? This is the most thoughtful thing. I mean, why aren't you here? So I can, I mean, damn hormones. It's okay, it's okay. <sighs> Stupid, thoughtful husband who's not here to hug. Why aren't you here to hug? Should I come home? You would, wouldn't you? You drive all the way home tonight. Oh, you know it. It's not helping. <laughs> Should I come home? Of course not. Thank you for the app. It's a, it's a big help. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't watch me when I'm in the bathroom. No promises. You gonna be okay? Yes. Ah, I'm glad. Oh, and one more thing. I put a gallon of cookies and cream in the freezer. Oh god, yes! Okay, talk to you later. Wow. <laughs> oh, excuse me. S sir? Do you, do you have a minute? I I excuse me. Uh, I'm Gladys Peterson's grandson. It's about her house. We've been paying a cleaning lady to come in and it doesn't look like she's been here. Have you seen anyone come around? Did anything unusual happen at the house after you arrived? Unusual? Excuse me, can I talk to you, please? Anything. Anything that might cause stress. Hey, I excuse me, C could you turn around? Anything strange? No, nothing. Excuse me. Look, I just want to... Jesus. Morning. Good God, are you awake? Have been for hours. Turning into a morning person, I think. You sound terrible. 
Just some nightmares. What? Nightmares. I had the weirdest dream. Wanna talk about it? Why didn't you want to tell your wife about your dreams? Not really. I just want to get some coffee and head to the hospital. I don't know. I, I just have to get some coffee. Why'd you call? I I didn't want to worry her. I, I just wanted to hear your lov- lovely voice first thing. Aww, that's sweet. What were you dreaming about? It doesn't matter. Humor me. You, you think this might be the stress that caused my car accident? What did you do next? What? You woke up from the nightmare. You talked to your wife. What did you do then? I, uh... I looked around the house some. The sun was up, so it was easier to get a look at things. Why didn't you go talk to your grandmother's doctor? That was later. But you told your wife that's what you were doing, right? I meant that was later. I didn't... Why, why are you asking me this? Never mind. So you looked around the house. Yes. What were you looking for? My grandfather, he loved treasure hunts. When I was a kid, he told me he hid a bag of buffalo nickels somewhere in the house. I searched for them a lot over the years, but I could never find them. Buffalo nickels? Old coins. Kind of collectibles, but not super valuable. When did your grandfather die? Uh, About seven years back. How do you know the coins are still there? I don't. It's, It's just this is something I wanted to get for my son. Maybe I'll hide them somewhere when he's old enough to go treasure hunting. How old's your son? Zero. My wife's very pregnant. Oh, so you're talking about... (sighs) Yeah, the the son we're expecting, yeah. Okay. So, did you find them? The nickels? No. (sighs) Dang it. I I found something else. What the hell? What? It's not important. It's got nothing to do with the accident. I'd still appreciate it if you told me. You never know what might be significant. Well, they were letters. What letters? Just a bundle of letters I found in the basement, up in the foundation behind a loose brick. Hidden letters? Yeah. What were they? I don't really want to go into what they... Again, I'm not sure... What might have significance regarding your accident? I need to know everything. I just don't think this has anything to do with it. Let me decide that. Am I under oath? No, of course not. Am I under arrest? No, you're not. I'm just trying to understand why you got into appropriation from the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Iceboxradio.org Wow. Oh, okay. So he was, he was, he was dead all along. He, he this show six sensed us. It did. We, we've been M Night Shyamalan a ding dong by it. He, we've been Bruce Willis. We've been bamboozled. It's oh. it's a yippee ki yay, and I can't say the rest. It's a family show. True, true. We wouldn't Absolutely. want to get taken off of the internet. It's terrifying. It would, well, it would be a horrible thing. But you know. At least it's over. At least so. it is over. That is, that is absolutely... We don't have to worry about like, it. Oh, oh, good God. Oh, good Lord. What is, no, what is going no, on? No, another... It's, a br- it's one of the brooms that's attacking. It was fine. Oh, Lord. Not, ah! Oh, oh God. There's two more of sides. them. There's, oh, God. There's added Wait. mops. Wait. Oh, my God. They've teamed up with the mops, their natural enemy. I had oh, no Lord. idea it was this terrifying. Oh, God. We'll be right back We're after this, this is... bit of Queen of Snakes to end on. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. 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 Help us. Gills. Back. Back. Get them, Rupert. Get them. Strawberry shortcake umbrella. I left oh, my gun shoot. in your bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the queen of snakes. Okay. Mother? Yes. I think your escort is here. The stripper you hired. Deputy. Uh, any, anyone, anyone here celebrating yes. a birthday? Unfortunately, there is. Oh, what well, I is can't it? get my Last hat off. Night, in the woods near Henry's house? We found the body of his secretary, Ethel. Oh dear, how dreadful. Could this somehow be related to Henry's disappearance? We believe so. So sad. Yes, were just Were you aware that dreadful. Henry and Ethel were <laughs> involved? No, and do you know weren't. how to iron a Everybody shirt? Everybody <laughs> knows Betty and Henry have been going steady since last year. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, sure, it was two starts, and now I can't put my arms all the I way down. I told you he was no good. Yes, Didn't mother. Didn't I tell you? You did I tell told me. her. Betty. Let me handle this. Are you this. aware of this? He was cheating on you, and you knew. I was very <laughs> much aware that Henry had been cheating on me. The other night, he stopped by, and we fought Ooh. about it, and he stormed out. And after that, he and I were no longer an item. And wow, she to... talks just like my wife. And I really we were two items. Because... <laughs> scanned separately at the register. Then I went to KFC to really? stock up for the week. Like tears in the rain. All right. I'm sorry to do this, Betty, but I'm going to need you to come down to the station to answer a few questions. What? Why? Now you wait one second, Deputy. There's no need to worry. Deputy? I, I really promise. don't know how to use Everything these. is going to be okay. <laughs> deputy Hayes. Please Hanks. stay out of this, Mrs. Crawford. Excuse me. Not actually a deputy. Now, Betty, you just I'm going to put your hands behind around. your back. <laughs> Mother! It's all right, dear. I will handle this. For your safety, I'm going to handcuff you now. Unhand my daughter at once. You need to stay out of this, Mrs. Crawford. Mother! Eugene Hayes. That's Deputy Hayes to you, Mrs. <laughs> Oh, mighty Isis. My daughter was not involved in the death of Henry's secretary. If you say so. Your daughter was not involved in the death of Henry's secretary. Ethel played by Billy J. Cohn. You will never ask her any questions about the matter. I will, I will not try to sell you any more popcorn. About the matter. She is not the, the suspect you are looking for. She is not Someday I'll be a real eagle scout. You can go about your business. I can go about my business. And I'm spent. You wouldn't hurt an old woman, huh. would you? The only time I ever use these is with the wife. Wow. Oh. Oh. To keep her from taking Movie. the pocketbook down to Harlan's boutique. Lord knows she doesn't need right. any more dresses. Somehow that's more disturbing kidding, than the sex course. thing. I prefer her All naked. Right. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. I'm folks. kidding, of course. Women don't have, have rights. A fine evening, Mrs. Crawford. So seriously, he Betty. handcuffs his wife to something to so go shopping? For more dresses. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the uh, Ferengi way of life, I believe. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What in heaven's name was that? Don't, Scrum, you, little deputy. Don't you bring heavens into this. Mother. I'm. Mother? So. I'm fading hungry. quickly. Ring the bell. Tie your mother down. Tie your mother yes, down. Yes, attorney, she's been unconscious for several hours. This is all right for power of attorney. Meanwhile, in the royal palace, Queen Elizabeth awakes from her nap. We are not amused. By Four the score and seven. Give it back. Yeah, sorry. What is this thing? It's mine. Give it back. Been sitting here for How three hours holding it like this. What you did. It's, it's Boy, mine. when she wakes up, Give this would be a real great way to start this scene. It's mine. Mother. Please give it give back. Gimme. I need it. Mother, give it back. Heavens. No. You don't have a rest. Yes. It's precious to me. She has been waiting I for this moment it. for no. years. You don't. I do. I really do. No. Betty. Mother. Betty, sweetheart. Darling. My it's beautiful baby. child. You were adopted. Give to me. No. You are the worst daughter ever. Oh, yeah. Do you understand me? No. The worst. Uh -huh. I think Lizzie Borden that. was very yes, good. That's true. I Three do. years from now, you she'll don't. be yes, diagnosed with BPD That's and put on medication to handle the mood swings. my entire life. But you have lousy taste in men. And clothes. No it's kidding. no wonder why Henry cheated on you. How dare you? Well, you know, Mom, we Dad walked out on you. Hey, <laughs> hey. Henry cheated on you because you she anyway. has bad taste in men? Yes. Okay. Give me it's like ambulance. a snake eating its own I tail. Oh. It all you. makes sense. Well, I hate you too. Booger, booger, well, booger. I'm glad we agree. Your father didn't give me these pearls. So what, mother? <laughs> they were from her. a sailor. Whose? You know it was who Fleet I'm talking Week. about. Hers. Who are you talking about? The girl. Give me the amulet and I'll Judy Dench. Me. It was Either the one you tell me now, or I swear to you, you will never see this thing again. You wouldn't dare. If I put it behind my back. Nobody has an amulet. Can we see the amulet? No, 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 no. Come back. Please. I'll tell you. Please. 
Just Come close. promise we'll get the urban cheese. Mother. Pretty please. With the queen of snakes on top. This is her chance. Just walk out of the house and keep going. That's not possible. It is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Okay, how? I took them from her after I killed her. No, mother, you didn't. You couldn't have. I swear. Please. Why won't you believe my admittance of murder? No, mother. I turned into a magical snake. You have to believe me. A couple minutes to tire yourself out, and I just, you know, Maybe get on with grilled it. cheese. I don't know. I have a like queen cutting, of snakes. Cutting Whoa. sheet metal next door. And the Academy Award goes to. Did I leave the oven on? Yes. Did I leave the drill press on? really should get my car looked at. <gasps> no, wait. Oh, God. Am I free? At last? Is she finally dead? Did she have Mother? the stroke I've been waiting for? Help me! My daughter has lost her mind! <laughs> Not me. My hair is gray. I'm completely sane. Mrs. Crawford, what in heaven's name is going on? They told me the hat's malignant. <laughs> No, my mother is it's having made out of crunch berries. I am not. <laughs> episode? An episode of what? Please, Mrs. Davis, call oh, the an police. an episode of Matlock. Just get out, get out, get out, get out. Mrs. Davis, why would I need to call the police? There's no need. My mother is simply not feeling well tonight, and sometimes she gets a little confused. That's all. I am not confused, Mrs. Davis. Betty killed Henry's secretary. Oh. Excuse me. I did no such thing. The worst of all, I've never heard I of. Swear to it. And worst of all, she's been dyeing my hair gray. She killed that woman, and she's threatening to kill me. Shut up, mother. Young lady, how dare you speak to your mother like that? No respect. No respect. No respect. Damn millennials. No, Mrs. Davis. You can't. Please don't. I will do no such thing. Leave. See? My daughter's marbles are gone. Please help me. Help her my find them. My marbles. My God. They're I gone. That's what please. they made my hat out of. Crawford are coming with me. No, she isn't. No. No. And who's going to stop me from taking her? You. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not just me. <laughs> But me and the Queen of Snakes. Nosferatu. So she's a vampire snake? Oh, wow. Take two and call me in the morning. That was awesome. Oh God, that felt good. God. I can see why you don't want to give this amulet up. Oh, my God, Mom. She gets to roll again. <laughs> my, can, can you help? The, my foot was in the door when you closed it. <laughs> yeah, you know, the cast trained for this scene for six months like the Matrix. They did. Stop it. Let they go. learned three forms of martial arts right. apiece to do this. <laughs> Only to not use any of them. Yeah. <laughs> Man. This weather's so strange lately. Oh. The sequel to the Power Rangers you never knew you needed. Zordon. Zordon. What do we do? They're fighting over the power I'm in, Zordon. Green Snake Ranger. Make a wish. Now they'll be like boyfriend, girlfriend. Each one will have a piece. We best got the bigger chunk of the wishbone. Best friends. BFF. Sorry. You are not excused. Mother? Please really be dead this time. <laughs> I take where, it. Where am I? 
Why is it so Mother, dusty and cobwebby and <laughs> spidery? What's with all these Afghans? Oh my it god, is? I can't feel my legs. Mother, it is. <laughs> Mother? Yes. Mother? You are my mother. No way. That's what is mother? Impossible. Why You're far you too ugly. That, because <laughs> I have no idea who you are. I smell a sequel. Well, we uh, did God. leave the oven on. Well, Mother, we have that in common. I also have no idea who she is. This handshake sealed their contract forever. The end. Hooray. Question mark. Oh, come on. Question mark. Question mark. Qu- question mark. What happens next? Do they become fast friends? Does Betty convince Mother? Guys, that movie was off the scale. <sighs> Grub. That is my favorite character, right? Michael Kaiser. Zordon. Zordon leads the Power Rangers. Zordon. Zordon. He's the real snake in this movie. (laughs) Yay! Dad and Chris. Written, directed, and edited, and produced, and associate produced. Paid for by viewers like you. Thank you. Writer, director, editor, producer, special visual effects, website, sound recording, editing effects, promotions, props, costume sets, digital media, R03, casting, transportation, art graphics, locations, creator, ah, oh, damn it. Everything you say. I hate when the credits scroll by too fast for you to read off what everybody did. Leela Wright didn't really pull her weight on this movie. Oh Jeez. <laughs> right. One thing. Kayla Frank, Mitchell Gonzalez, Fred Hygar, Alice Mann, Gibson, Daniel Mann, David Mann, Elliot Mann. Then Gandalf the Grey and, and Gandalf the White and Monty Python and the Holy Grail's Black Knight. Filmed on location at multiple homes of your great aunt. <laughs> Avery Guerrera did publicity. Good job, Avery. <laughs> <laughs> This movie also available in Esperanto. No one knows why. Yikes. Okay. Is my name in there somewhere? <laughs> Adrian, Ben Doran, Toby Eagle, Deanna, why did I have to be Snake's Flynn? Jedi Cole, Cole, Jedi Cole, Houston. Joe Outlaw. The Jedi Cole. Houston. Sean Shadow Wolf Shikowski. Scott, may I take your photo van? Bob Johnson. Oh, no, no. Never answer yes. Well, that's Queen of Snakes. That was Queen of Snakes, and that was our riff for this Halloween. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I hope y'all had a good time. I know we did. And thank you so much, Christopher Mam and the members, for allowing us to do this to their movie. You all have a frightful holiday. No hard feelings, huh? No. Oh. She's having a hard feeling. She found a queen of snakes somewhere. Yeah. You are high. It was the alto didgeridoo. You know, guys, I was really happy to hear no snakes were harmed. Yes. Yeah. Ancient or otherwise. Unfortunately, one secretary was. Okay. Queenofsnakes.com. Queen of snakes. Queen of snakes. Well, oh, like, Halloween. Oh, did it again. Yeah, we, we did it again. We, we managed to fight off the brooms as I yes. had their natural kryptonite, the dustpan. Absolutely. So we'll be fine now, and I don't think brave. they can hurt us anymore. But, but, but if I were you, I'd, I'd find all the brooms in your house and just toss them out into yes. the street. No, no, better yet, break them up. Wait, don't do that. Remember that, that documentary starring Mickey Mouse? Oh, right. They'll come to life and they'll flood your house. Absolutely. Don't... They're working with the mops now, you know. They are working with the mops. It's kind of an organized crime mafia. And you can learn more about organized crime in our true crime podcast. Mops? Question mark? <laughs> yes. Now available on iTunes. Mops. Which the doesn't killer exist in anymore. The mops. The Killer in Your Home. Our new documentary series. Well, Ugh. This has been uh, this has been far more challenging than I thought it was going to be. It has been. Yes, I didn't expect the broom attack. That was the problem. No, no, that w- that was something. I I don't think we could have planned that if we tried. No, you just never plan on inanimate objects slapping you around from no, off camera. No, you don't. But what you do plan on is that 
Everybody has been very generous at iceboxradio.org slash live. And they thank you. Giving to us yet again. They thank you, and we thank you, and we're going to slip away now into the night and wish you all a very happy and safe Halloween. Seriously, watch out for the brooms. Yes.